A brand new poll in Iowa shows President Trump and Democratic nominee Joe Biden in a dead heat. But there's a story behind this poll that's surprised even the, the data experts who conducted it. And it's all about where men and women stand. Jay Ann Selzer from the, the firm that conducted this poll told the Des Moines Register, quote, I don't know that there's any race in the history of presidential polling in Iowa that shows this kind of division. NBC's Steve Kornacki uh, sifts through polls in a way that no one else can. He's here to break it all down for us. So what, what are we seeing in Iowa, Steve? Let's start there, then we'll go to Georgia. Yeah, well, what she's talking about is a gender gap. We talk about those in politics a lot, but the size of the gender gap there. First of all, the, the bottom line here, Iowa, it's not a state. When we talk about all the different battlegrounds, they're going to decide the electoral college. We haven't talked a lot about Iowa because... This is what 2016 looked like. It's one of those, it looked like Trump had an advantage in the fall. Election night came and he won it big. And I think it kind of cemented for a lot of people this idea that it's a big red state in the Trump era. It's not, well, we may need to revisit that understanding of Iowa because, first of all, the overall result here is a tie. 47-47, yeah, almost a 10-point Trump win in 2016, now to a tie. Iowa, by the way, as a state, has more of those Obama, Obama, Trump counties. Like a third of the counties in the state did that. They voted for Obama twice. They switched and they voted for Trump. It's got more of them than any state in the country. And this poll suggests Biden might be making some inroads there. Now, you get to this question of the gender gap here in 2016 in Iowa. This was the breakdown, men and women. And now look at this. Donald Trump still winning men in Iowa by more than 20 points. The advantage for Joe Biden among women, basically in reverse, it mirrors that. 21. So it's a 41 point difference. Trump's 21 points ahead in this poll among men in Iowa. And Trump is 20 points behind among women in Iowa, a 41-point swing there, basically, between the two genders. That quote that you had there from the poll, uh, Director Ann Selzer, refers to that number, a massive gender gap in Iowa. Then you mentioned Georgia, 2016, yeah, traditionally red state, won the Donald Trump kick, carried it by five points in 2016. That was down a bit from how other Republicans like Mitt Romney had done in Georgia, and now new poll out here today in Georgia. This from the Atlanta Journal-Constitution shows a dead heat, Trump and Biden. Again, the significance here, Craig, Iowa and Georgia, and there's a couple other states like this, maybe Ohio, for instance. There's states that we haven't talked about as the core battleground. We've talked about these states, these six states, as the core battleground of this presidential election. The three Midwest states that were so close in 2016, Florida, North Carolina, Arizona. By the way, they're all states where Joe Biden leads to varying degrees in the polling right now, all states that Trump had won in 2012. But these new polls from Iowa and Georgia are a reminder. You know, we, we talk about scenarios where Trump could get back in and win the race in the Electoral College. There's also the scenario where if the polls hold up, Biden wins big nationally, he could start piling up something in the Electoral College. Really quickly, what about the Senate race in Georgia? We don't have a lot of time, but what's, what are the latest polls showing there? Yeah, it's, uh, I thought we had it there, but I apologize. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, that's the other thing. Georgia is the home to two U.S. Senate races this year. One of them will be decided on Election Day with all of the other Senate races. Polling showing a competitive race there as well. And then also Georgia, there's a second Senate race that really will be decided in a runoff several weeks after Election Day. And that's one thing to keep in mind, too. We talk about the battle for control of the Senate. It's possible we get through the election in November. We know who the next president is. And then yeah. we got to wait for a special uh, a runoff in Georgia for that special election. Steve Kornacki for us there at the Temperamental Big Board. Steve, thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.